You have a 27 year old man with a distal radius fracture placed in a circumferential cast six hours ago, returns with new severe forearm pain and numbness in the fingers. On exam, the hand is swollen and tense with pain on passive finger extension. Radial pulse is still present. What is the most critical immediate step? A. Losing or bivalve the cast immediately. B. Other urgent fasciotomy. C. Elevate the arm above the heart level. D. Give another dose of IV morphine. And E. Request orthopedic review within 24 hours. So yeah, um, we know that the definitive treatment for compartment syndrome is fasciotomy. But then the patient has a cast on. And if the patient has a cast on, you want to loosen or bivalve the cast immediately. You know what? If acute compartment syndrome is suspected and a limb is casted, the cast must be removed immediately, right? You can't just say, I'm going to do compartment, um, I'm going to do fasciotomy when you've not removed the cast. And this can relieve external pressure and help to prevent irreversible damage. This is the first step. Fasciotomy follows if the symptoms persist, all right? So fasciotomy will follow. So you have somebody with a cast, take the cast off or do a bivalve of the cast so that the pressure is relieved then you can go ahead and do the fasciotomy if the symptoms do not improve. But you can't do fasciotomy when the patient still has the cast on, right? So that is why in the answer options, I wrote that fasciotomy is definitive, but should only follow after removing external compression, right? And why is it dangerous to elevate the limb above the, 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 the heart? Because if you do that, it can reduce perfusion. And when you reduce perfusion, that can worsen ischemia, right? 